Gilbert High School started off with the El Mercadito food pantry. And so the goal of that pantry was to service the community in providing that dignified, equitable, and nutritious food. And so our program here, we're really thinking um, in terms of how we can extend that mission, that goal. Here in AUHSD, we really believe in like systems and not silos. And so we want it to be a complementary benefit to our on-site food pantry. And so we're building building out this garden to be the um, place for locally grown food. When we were doing our research, we don't have any like places nearby in Anaheim that actually gives fresh food. That's how we're addressing food insecurity. The interns receive just basic job skills. A lot of them, if not most of them, this is their first job. You know, being on time, um, getting things done on time, uh, following directions communicating with their supervisor, all of those things that you usually would already know coming from a different job. This is the first time for them, so this is just things that they're learning on the spot. I never had any job experiences, so this is a good experience I can have going into college. We want our students to graduate with college and career readiness skills, so being punctual, using the Hope Builders app to check in and check out for their hours, how to take meal breaks, but in addition, the content of our internship is working in the garden. They would research about how to build a raised bed, how to layer that up, or how to compost, or um, you know, what is the best way to grow a tomato. We've had the Mac gardener from Magnolia come and teach us a few things. We've had irrigation come and teach us a few things. Many of them are not used to reaching out and making connections with the community, which has been a requirement or a necessity for us to get all the resources that we need. So they are learning how to use their critical thinking as to who they can contact, how to communicate with them and ask for donations, how to represent themselves as a fellow member of the community in need and wanting to give back. When we began, we didn't really have any too much at all mulch. So most of the mulch we have out there was donated. So during the process of getting donations, we've been making phone calls to like get mulch, wood, cardboard. We did end up getting a lot of mulch. There was a lot of people that did say no or like they didn't have any donations. So it was kind of stressful. And at the time, like we needed more mulch and it was already like running out. But one of like the people did answer and they did end up saying yes. Something that I've learned was there's a lot of resources available, and I didn't really know that until I was the one calling for donations, and then I realized that there's a lot of places willing to help out, like everywhere in the community, and the community is very helpful. I've been working way better with people around me, something that I've struggled with before, learning how to take responsibility, getting things done on time. Collaboration was one of the skills that I've used here and I got better at because I'm normally someone who doesn't like working with others but here everything you're working with somebody because we have bigger tasks to accomplish it's a lot better getting to work with multiple people. Coming in August throughout the school year we don't have anybody to maintain the garden. My hope is that there will be some sort of um, sustaining program um, so that we can have this garden stay a little bit longer. We know that sharing food and sharing stories is what helps build relationships. What sets Gilbert apart is that we are an alternative education setting. Our students don't come from just one neighborhood. They don't come from just one background. We are diverse in that we pull from 45 square miles of AUHSD. We all didn't know each other and now if you look at us, we're all like family.